It is a great moment here on the red carpet when you've got Pink next to you. Congratulations on another Grammys here. Thank you. It's good. She's going to be performing in just a I little am. bit. I'm so excited. So I still could, when I was watching you perform at the AMAs, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. You were scaling down a building that I've driven by so many times. The building is straight up and down. Yeah, it, is it is vertical, really and you are high. coming down at like a stage. It felt wrong the entire time. I, I don't even understand <laughs> how. So you do something like that, and how do you move the ball or come up with the next performance because that was so amazing um thank you i don't know i'm just trying to just trying to be exciting and it's really fun it's fun to try and figure out what you can do and and get insurance for and stay alive <laughs> what they'll let you do <laughs> i was like would you guys let me scale a building they're like maybe it was quite the dancers I mean, it was just remarkable Thanks. It was you're fun. nominated for what about us? This is a song that asks a couple of important questions. And I'm just curious to know, what, what do people say to you? Because these are questions a lot of people want answers to, you know, in their own lives. Um, what do they say to After me? After they hear the song, they connect with the song. Uh, it's funny. I never like to tell people what a song is about because yeah. for everybody, they interpret it the way. And I played it for my girlfriend. She was like, oh, this is about love. And I was like, is it? <laughs> um, but, you know, fine. If it, it could be once you frame it that way. But for me, it was just about government in general. And I think there's a lot of questions that need some answers. And... And do you, do you have them? I have no Did you get answers. the answers yet? I have none. <laughs> the next album, I have none. Coming soon from Pink. Um, there was one thing I wanted to point out. There was a tweet I saw that you sent out not too long ago talking about a woman who came up to you in a grocery store. Oh, yeah. And she said, you make her a stronger parent just by, by watching what you do and listening to your message. Tell me about that moment and why it was special. She caught me so off guard. I was in line at a grocery store. It was so packed and crazy. And she just, she started getting teary and she said that she enjoys me because I like to F up in public a lot. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. I just, you know, life is hard. She it's, said she found strength in does. that. She finds strength in knowing that someone like me is out there screwing it all up too. <laughs> <laughs> we can all relate, right? Well, I, I just, I love you, adore you. Thank you so you much for coming by and saying hi. Thank you. Have fun. I, I and your mother, yeah. Judy, striking and over there and smiling. And hi. And it's a family hi. She's over us. She's like, come on, let's go to the show. <laughs> so cute.